Hey everyone, a warm welcome to this video lecture. In our last video, we looked at how to install Debian 13 on Oracle VirtualBox 7.1 and in this video, we are going to go a step further and see how to install guest editions on our virtual machine. Now first off, let's describe what guest editions are. So VirtualBox guest editions are a package of device drivers and applications that improve performance and the usability of the guest OS. So basically, they enhance interaction between the guest and the host OS. And some of the features they provide include better video support. You also get shared clipboard. That is, you can copy and paste text between the guest and the host OS. You also get seamless mouse integration, shared folders, and much more. So with that out of the way, let's see how to install VirtualBox guest editions on our Debian 13 virtual machine. So the first step in installing the VirtualBox guest editions is to update the local package index and to do so, launch your terminal and run the command sudo apt update. So this will refresh the local cache as you can see on your screen. Now, once that is done, we are going to install two essential packages. That is the build essential and the Linux header meta package. And to do so, simply run the command sudo apt install build essential and then Linux headers like that, all right? So the build essential package is a meta package that provides an array of essential tools and libraries needed for compiling and building software from code. And it contains tools such as the GCC compiler, the make utility, which automates the compilation process, and a host of essential libraries and header files. Now the Linux headers over here contains the Linux header files, and the suffix uname hyphen r specifies the version of the kernel currently running on your Linux system. So I'm just gonna hit enter. So this is a piece, this is a space required on your hard drive. So to continue, I'm just going to type Y on the keyboard and hit enter. And as you can see, the installation is now complete. So the next step is to go over here to the devices section on the menu bar so click on this and select insert guest edition cd image so this will attach or mount the cd image that contains the guest editions files on your system so i'm gonna click on this now i'm gonna come here and click on this and head over to the file manager here which is labeled files so i'm gonna click on that and as you can see here on the bottom left sidebar here you can see this has been mounted in the slash media slash cd-rom zero all right so what i'm gonna do i'm going to head back to my terminal so you can either select this and open in a new tab and these are the files the guest edition files you'll find here all right so what i'm gonna do i'm just simply going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to clear this. So I'm going to go to the media directory. So here you can see we have two CD-ROM directories. So my system has a physical CD-ROM drive, which is this one here. Okay. And now my the guest editions CD image has been mounted in this directory, CD-ROM0. So I'm going to navigate to this directory here. So I'm going to say CD, uh, CD-ROM zero so in your case you're most likely going to have this only if you don't have that is if you don't have a physical cd-rom okay so i'm going to navigate to this and when i check the files this is what you should have so i'm going to run this file here vbox linux editions dot run and to do that simply run the command sudo bash then vbox Linux editions dot run like that. Okay, so this should be sudo bash vbox Linux editions dot run and hit enter. So this will automate the compilation of all the packages needed to install the guest editions. So just wait it out. All right, so as you can see, the installation of the guest editions has been successful going by the output here and as you can see you have seen a slight change in the size or the dimensions of the screen now what you need to do is just come here and click on this 
menu bar here and then drag it up and voila so as you can see the screen has now stretched full screen and this is confirmation that our, our installation was successful so as you can see now that is how you install guest editions so i'm gonna click this to close it and then i'm gonna close this so as you can see we have a wonderful full screen virtual machine installation to reap the full benefits of the VirtualBox guest editions functionalities, what you need to do is to log out and log back in. So what you're going to do, we are going to log out first. So I'm going to come here and click the power button, then click log out. So I'm just going to select log out. Now I'm going to log back in. So I'm going to click there and uh, provide my password and we are back in so i'm going to test one of the functionalities provided by the virtualbox guest editions so one of the functionalities is the use of a shared clipboard that is you can copy and paste text between the guest and the host os so what you're gonna do is come here to devices then shared clipboard by default this is set to disabled so i'm gonna select bidirectional so this will allow you to copy and paste text to and for the guest and the host os okay so now what i'm gonna do i'm going to demonstrate this so i'm going to head over to the edge browser and i'm going to copy some sample text so let me copy this paragraph here so i'm gonna copy this i'm gonna head back to my virtual machine so here i'm going to launch the note editor and i'm going to paste it and as you can see this works so we have copied text from the host to the guest now let's try this the other way around so here i'm just going to launch firefox browser okay so i'm going to just head to wikipedia for example and uh, let's copy this sample text here so i'm gonna copy this then let me head back to windows so i'm going to open notepad over here and as you can see, this works. That's one of the advantages of installing guest editions. So as you can see, it enhances interaction between the guest and the host OS. So guys, that's it for this lecture. So in this video lecture, uh, I demonstrated how to install VirtualBox guest editions on Debian 13. So that's it, guys. Please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to continue getting more of these Linux videos. So that's it, guys. See you in the next lecture.